you two never came back together if you had that magic writing with one another? Um, I, that, that's a, that's probably a good question. Uh, the, the honest answer, if I'm really like being honest is, um, you know, the business kind of got in the way yeah, and the dynamic okay. and the dynamic of our friendship changed and our friendship, you know, when I see Quentin, um, when I do see him and the last time I saw him was at the Scream Awards, um, you know, it's, it's like seeing a brother. It's, he's, we spent our formative years together and mm. he's uh you know a dear person to me and so you see him and you hug and it's like how are you and it's good to see you but we're different people now mm. and then and we're not too you know it's one thing when you're just two guys working in a video store trying to write scripts and trying to get movies mm. made and doing stuff it's another thing when you add all the other elements of the business that change the dynamic of a friendship and so we I think at a certain point it just became a conscious decision or maybe even a subconscious decision of let's just let our friendship be our friendship okay, and yeah, not yeah. let it be, uh, um, you know, contorted by the limbo of the business, yeah, you know, yeah, by yeah. The, the game of limbo <laughs> of the business. It's weird like five, eight years ago that um, idea of the prequel for Pulp Fiction was like chucked around in the press a bit. Did that just come out of kind of nothing? Was it kind of like that? Well, was we've like... all, I've always known what the sequel to Pulp Fiction is, or what the prequel is. I yeah. mean, we, those conversations we've had, like, okay. you know, I know exactly what it is. If they do a yeah. Pulp Fiction series, I'm probably a good guy to come to because, yeah. uh, you know, I have all the documents from the development of the yeah, um, of project, yeah, and yeah. so you know, it's like uh, that would be kind of cool. However you know is it needed and you know there's already a kind of universe by which all of these characters mm, live yeah yeah you know sort of the i mean it's a tarantino verse you know, and i have like a little like you know subcontinent of, in the tarantino verse <laughs> <laughs> you know along with a couple of other filmmakers who have collaborated with him in the past yeah and um uh you know i don't know what, what can one, what can one say about that so you know we just never um, you know, came back to work together. Mm, you know, yeah. I've worked with other people and it's always been, uh, um, you know, kind of a similar pleasurable experience. Like, you know, I've written with Neil Gaiman, mm. uh, the novelist, and we had a very, very similar, very close, um, connected writing experience, which mm. was super enriching. I mean, that's, you know, when, when you have any relationship with anyone, you kind of carve out a little piece of yourself yeah. to make space for the little piece of them that you fill in that hole with. And then you give it a little piece of yourself to them. And it, that's a, excuse me, my God, like a proper, <laughs> uh, a proper sharing experience. Yeah. And um, when a relationship is imbalanced is when somebody, you know, kind of gives up a little piece of themselves yeah. and they don't get anything back. Yeah. And, I've been fortunate enough throughout my career to have a number of writing partners that I always have good experiences with. I've worked mm. with Ted Elliott and Terry Rossio. Those guys were fantastic to write with and to, to work with. They're dynamic and fun thinkers and uh, they have great ideas and they really have a, um, they're super dedicated to the, the actual practice of the craft. Um, you know, Neil Gaiman is, you know, share brains with the, you know, somebody like that and mm. they automatically become your brother for life. Yeah, yeah. You can go years without seeing them or maybe it's like somebody you were in combat with that you see them years later, decades later and you're like, oh my God, we were in the foxhole together. Mm. And it was such an intense experience that it galvanizes your friendship yeah, in a way yeah. that, you know, you can go for very long periods of time, at least for me, without seeing somebody. Mm. And, um, you know, then when you see them again, it's like, yeah, we shared a piece of our brain together. Um, these days, I write with my daughter. 